Mm -hmm. Uh, You sent me an interesting article about this new season, how they're filming it COVID style, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is so interesting. There's a lot of points. It does change things. And also the way the show is, it it heightens the emotions. It heightens the drama all because Mm -hmm. of the situation you're in. Because if you think about it, you don't have your phone. You don't have your family to talk to. You don't have television. You have no escapes from the world that you're in, which Mm -hmm. can increase drama. It can... uh, create long lasting friendships because you have all the yeah. time just to get to know people and it can create romance and really like strong relationships as well. But now that COVID is happening, Chris mm-hmm. Harrison made some points because normally in filming, you have to have dark days because of union laws and things like that. So you can film for a certain amount of time and then you have to take days off. And usually on dark days, they use that to travel. travel. So for, mm-hmm. for us, we went to Singapore and then Thailand and mm-hmm. Vietnam. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, but for this, they stay at the one hotel yes. the entire time. Oh, so they don't, they really don't have a break at all. Like to mentally, like at least switch gears for a little bit and think and make friends or think about like real think life. Think about what's going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Real life. And just like be able True. to analyze your surroundings. I think yeah. that take that element's taken away and you can get really lost in that really quickly. So I think that might heighten the drama this season. And stir sure. crazy. If you're stuck stir in crazy. like, imagine if you were just at the mansion. Like forever, like those three, two months. No. I can't imagine. No. My favorite <laughs> days were just, dark no. days. Because that's when we you had do. the most fun. Everyone kind of let loose. In Singapore, that was like, we were the only, while well, everyone was doing nails, like we all decided. So to, we wanted like, to go, go see explore. Singapore. Yeah. Everyone was like, yeah. we're getting our nails done and like going to do this and go shopping. I was like, I'm good on the shopping and the nails. Again, probably another time when we made <laughs> exactly. a mistake. Exactly. But, we but- <laughs> So true. I was like, back. I think I have enough clothes. We're fine. I'm gonna go look at the. There's a Ferris wheel here, and I want to go <laughs> see some Ferris sites, and I want to eat. We we well, that's what we did. Literally. We went to a Ferris wheel and we ate dinner. Ate the dumplings. <laughs> the dumplings. So, uh, dim sum. Yeah, that dim was so sum. So that's the best part. That's where our head was at, and I, I honestly yeah. it was memorable. So those were all my favorite parts of been, the whole Bachelor. Yeah, Definitely. we might not have been best dressed, but we did have a good time at least. It's true. Thank you. But also, I, I thought about this element too, because you know how a lot of things can get lost in translation in when you're traveling, if you think about it, because Chris Harris made this point that you'll get to see everything. Because if you think about, remember there was this huge drama on our season between Cassie and Kaylin because they were saying, there was a quote that was taken from, I guess, when we were traveling on the bus and they said something along the lines of like, oh, you get to be, you're going to get it and you're going to be the bachelorette. And basically saying that the whole thing was like, they're not here for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. And that was a quote or something that was taken from the bus. So I think a lot of those moments will that be missing. That is crazy. Because those and moments- And the friendships too. Like the friendships, started yeah. getting groupy or like by the time you're traveling, you start getting the clicks, like things yeah. are just like more because obvious. Because you can have like, conversations bond off with. of mics and off of camera and you kind of like let your guard down a little bit too. So and I that's think- why we got close to the producers too. Like all yeah. the time off camera, like when yeah. obviously they're talking to us because they're bored too. They have no one else to talk to. Like they mm-hmm. haven't seen their families. I know. It does take a huge element out of it. I think it's going to be- almost more interesting for viewers in a way because they're going to get to see all of those things. But I think mm-hmm. a lot of those moments maybe not might not happen as often, which should be interesting. And he oh. did mention in that article that was like um, the impact of Black Lives Matter movement and everything that's going on culturally did impact the show yes. even while they were filming. Yes. Interesting. Like you definitely confirmed that. And behind the scenes, like they probably they did switch ups with people yeah. and the directors and casting agents, yeah. like all the people actually involved with casting and stuff were switched or mm-hmm. we don't know yeah, exactly who has left or some producers are able to be to get a higher role and things like that so that yeah. is interesting uh i remember too before the black lives matter uh movement happens someone had interviewed because mike johnson was supposed to be the bachelor at that point or like people were thinking he was going to be yeah. the bachelor but then it ended up being peter and i remember him doing an interview and him saying well you you it's not always about who's in front of the camera. It's all that we have like a very culturally diverse people yep. behind the camera and all these things. And he made these excuses for essentially why Mike was not the bachelor. Wow. And he also said something along the lines of like the viewers and the people that watch the show have a big thing, have a lot mm-hmm. to do with how they edit and how, what they're producing is they're producing it for a certain audience. Now it's interesting because they're going kind of against that with the things because of the movement, all the things, which I think is really good. But it's interesting seeing how before they were kind of like standing their ground with the ways that they ran the show. But now they're having to like rethink things, which I think is good. Or the things that they are afraid of is views going down and not having enough people watching it as they they did before. But I think Mm -hmm. based on a lot of elements, because of the fact that we have nothing... How did opening night do? Like, how did the premiere do? I don't know. Let's look. 
at right? that really quick. The ratings yeah. compared to our amazing season. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, wasn't our paradise like the most watched paradise? Epic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I can't even confirm, but definitely. <laughs> <laughs> just based on it is for us oh, um a bachelorette season shot under quarantine conditions debuted with a 1.4 rating among adults 18 to 49 and 5.3 million views 5.03 million views ahead of the 1.3 and 4.77 million from season 15 premiere in may 2019 so it did oh. better mm-hmm. than i think hannah's season which was the one before i also that mm. may have t- something to do with the fact that we have no new tv these days this was one of, I think, the first, if not one of the first That's shows true. that was able to shoot during mm-hmm. quarantine. So there's not a lot of shows like this coming out right now because they were, they managed with ABC is a B. So they were able to create this bubble in this world because of all the testing. And the, they're as big as Disney. And they're as big as Disney. And they had, they took all the funding they did a bubble, from traveling like, and put it into yep. uh, creating this that bubble. Yeah, creating the bubble. So the bubble is essentially. They were able to fly people there with and yep. like quarantine them, do a lot of testing, and they they were tested throughout the process. Like, and the people on cast said were tested more so that they could take their mask yeah, exactly. off on camera like all and time. be around the cast. I yeah, heard. so like ten times, thirteen times. Yeah, yeah so they had those little swabs yeah. up shoved up their nose a lot, but it it worked luckily yeah. because now we have the season. So yeah, I think that has a lot to do with it too, and and because of the switch up that apparently is happening between. Claire and the new Bachelorette, which is rumored to be Tasha. Yeah. I think a lot of people are tuning in to see like how this is going to work. Mm-hmm. So they're doing it right. They always do it right. They always manage to find a way to make it more dramatic than the last season. I don't true. know how, but they. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. It's true. It's true. It just happens. Um, but we are hoping at least with this season that there is a happy ending. For both I know friends. there hasn't been in forever. There hasn't our been season. in forever. A disaster. <laughs> our season was a disaster oh, as far as disaster. the happy ending. I mean, we got one it kind of getting worse. It blown up. Hannah Brown no, season no, disaster as far as her meeting someone. Oh, Peter really season casting. disaster. Mm, these men. It is That's casting. Like, hopefully, I'm like really hopeful. Like I'm like I don't want to judge these guys yet. Hopefully, like there really are some more normal. Yeah, I think it awesome. has a lot. To, yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's going to help the fact that they have real jobs, that they are older, and that the yep. fact that cast, the casting had to happen where they redid it essentially for Claire, and they were it was the producers and the casting directors looking for guys to come on the show instead of guys, guys auditioning to come on the show. They have a mix of both, I think, now more too, which is going to make for a better show. So speaking of all the breakups... 